This is the Dollar Tree watercolor set that I got for $5, and it certainly looks nice. The colors look very vibrant, and it has a lot of variety to choose from. It comes with three little brushes, although I think that's a stretch to call them brushes. They're really little plastic sticks with about three hairs a piece on them, and you'll see what happens in just a minute. But here is the Uli set. It is for $13. And so you may wonder, what's the difference? They both look like great, nice pigmented colors. The Uli set comes with an actual brush. It's made of wood. It has a ferrule holding a very generous amount of bristles and very different in quality. Again, I wouldn't even call the Dollar Tree ones brushes per se, but uh, they definitely, you can see the difference in the amount of bristles that come with the brush. So first, the main difference is in activating the pigment in the paint. Um, it is so hard, I would call it more like needing a chisel. And as you see right there, all the bristles fell off. And I was using a really light touch, um, which of course wasn't getting any paint either, but um, that one brush bit the dust immediately. And so we had to pull out the second brush. Now we know why there's two. And it just would not pick up any color and with just a real gentle touch. Uh, the paint has got some type of really hard granulation in it, and you'll see what it did to the paper in a close-up here. It pills up the paper and has very, very little pigment. When I used the Uli brush, I really grabbed too much water. The brush um, had so much uh, capacity to hold water and um, the first puddle I made was uh, mostly water, so I tried again with less and got some really nice color in there. Um, the brush is so soft and the paint did not have the granulation that tore up the paper. This is the Uli brand in the teal color, and as you can see, it was really difficult to get any pigment, and again, um, it was really the paint itself that was causing the pilling, and then again, getting a really nice, smooth, uh, pigmented um, sample there with the Uli. So when you look at them on the surface, it's hard to tell the difference. Um, the brushes obviously are pretty um, obvious, the difference in them. But as far as the paint, until you really tried to get the paint off of those little dots, um, I, that's when everything became very apparent, as you can see here. And the brushes are just vastly different.